we're talking about the latest DJI, DJI goggles N3. So these are the latest goggles, which are said to release, it looks like by all accounts, early next month. Um, I expect them to be a pretty big seller because they are going to be considerably cheaper than the current standard goggles. They're a bit of a down spec. I'm all about budget FPV options. People don't need the best of the best to get flying. And let me know too, if you are flying around, do you fly digital? Uh, what system do you currently fly? And probably the big one, if you are looking at getting into the hobby today, how much sense does this make? Now they're gonna be a direct competitor to these right here. So these are the Walksnail Goggles L, which I really, really like. Um, and especially for $199 of those versus these goggles, which are, does it have here? They could offer FPV experiences for under 250 pounds. So I don't know what that is. That might be like, that's pretty close. Um, what's 250 pounds in US dollars? So uh, Johnny DRC is saying, figured I just switched to walk snail. We've got some other things right here as well. If we scroll down, I'm going to link this. I'll link this site in the show notes a little bit later. This is where I was getting my info from. And we also have another picture over on Reddit. We'll talk about the air unit just a little bit. But this is, from what I could tell, one big, like, large FPV screen instead of the two individual screens. Um, I don't know how it will go with, like, compatibility. I would say as we move further and further in generations away, if you're in DJI, the older stuff is going to become less and less supported. So it's going to be always modern. And this is one of the things I really dislike about uh, like new DJI goggles. I feel like DJI is a company that reminds me a little bit of like Apple's marketing where every year we need a new headset, we need a new goggle, we need a new like iteration. And it feels like you just have to keep buying the same thing over and over and over. I will admit they've done okay to support some of their products now. I feel like in the past, uh, it was a little bit dicey. It has been a little bit better with the O3 Air unit and what that's been supported to. Like they've really stuck to that one for a long time. However, now uh, this, so I read this on, I was looking at this on Reddit this morning. So this is the DJI O4 Air unit. So I don't know any of the specs of this. Uh, I don't know, you know, its compatibility or anything like that. I would have to suspect if you were DJI, it would really upset a lot of people if this was not compatible with latest generation goggles. So you'd probably they'd probably have great numbers on their marketing and the amount of people that have the compatible goggles. And there'd be a point when they're like, okay, it's not profitable to support these old styles. But yeah, I think most pilots are going to be safe if you bought your goggles recently. Um, but this is probably pretty exciting things. I don't know what the specs are going to be like. I don't know what the performance is going to be like. It looks like a bit of a chunky boy right there. And the camera looks absolutely massive. Um, so I'm not too sure um, who they're like, it's probably like, like five inch racing quads. And if you're doing DJI for freestyle, this is going to be good. What I would love to see, and I'm look, DJI wouldn't give two hoots about what I, what I say about them. They probably don't even know I exist, but I would like to see two things uh, moving forward in the future when it comes to DJI. Number one, this air unit right here, please give me a way to play nicely with like the power levels and the channels and all those sorts of things. I want to have much more control over what it is rather than it just blasting out of the sky. FPV is for everybody. And one of the things DJI I feel like doesn't do well is play with other systems. So I know Walk Snail. It's kind of in the middle and things like HD zero are an absolute thumbs up or a thumbs plus with how they play with all the frequencies and you can control exactly what it's doing and analog and it's really, really nice. DJI, I would say is the worst contender for that. Other people might have some different experiences, but for me, DJI is one of the hardest ones to fly with because you just cannot have that over complete control or anything like that. Um, Let's see, Chris Croft is saying, oh, I can use this special little feature that I worked so hard on. Check this out. Woo, oh, well, it's, it's, I haven't fixed it perfectly, but Mads Tex is saying the pro camera will be similar, similar to the Avatar 2 uh, camera. I think this, like the F value right here is a little bit lower maybe um, from that. So I would have to check that out. I feel like if that is the case, it will be better at like 
a low light performance, but you're probably going to need some ND filters maybe, or it's going to need to play with that a little bit more. So, I don't know, kind of interesting. Uh, and I don't know how to pronounce uh, your name, sorry, my friend, but he's saying 03 rules at this time. Yeah, it's pretty good, but it's also not my favorite. And that's for another reason, which brings me on. So if you look at the size of this air unit right here, one of the best things that I like that I think HD Zero has going for it and also Walk Snail. And let me know if you're a DJI user and this would be something you would like to change. Can we get a small air unit? Because I want to fly it like the more I fly around, the more I do FPV, there's something about those tiny little drones that are just so fun to fly. So like the Lightning, I recently flew the Eagle. So I was flying that yesterday, which is basically a two inch, but it's a little bit heavier with the O3 air unit. The best thing about walks now is that tiny little form factor. I can have a tiny little 2S drone that screams around is absolutely perfect for my FPV experiences. And the same with HD zero. So if you're into racing, it keeps it light. You're gonna have great performance, but it just makes it so easy to build. If you have to accommodate and put this inside your drone, well, it really limits what craft we can do. So I don't know if DJI actually cares about that part of the market. Um, but I'd have to say it would be considerable. So they'd have to have some some idea, maybe like an ultralight unit or something like that. I'm not I'm not too sure. Interesting, it's got two antennas. Um, let's see. Uh, depends on how you fly. Interestingly, too, also this came up. I'll be able to find the clip. You'll probably see it in one of the videos. But when I was flying with Stickman and Steve. He threw his he threw the DJI goggles on. We're about to go for a rip, and he said, "Man, I prefer I prefer Walk Snail, and that's where me and him I guess differ. Where I prefer the DJI image quality. That's the thing I really like about DJI. I feel like they have ten out of ten in terms of image quality. They're the best. I'd give Walk Snail like a eight and a half, and then I'd give HD Zero maybe a seven. So they're almost comparatively just a little bit less than each other, and then I'd give Analog about a five. So. No, but there is nothing wrong with flying around analog. Ultimately, if you're enjoying the skies, do not let anybody tell you what to, uh, if you should feel good or bad about what you're flying. If you're having a good time, you're enjoying the skies, you're being safe and you're being part of this amazing hobby, I say all the more power to you. You don't need to listen to some random person telling you you bought the wrong product. You don't need to listen to this random Australian guy sitting in his lounge room uh, talking about drones all morning. As long as the important part is, you are having a good time flying around FPV. It doesn't matter whether you've got the old goggles, analog goggles, walks now digital, just have an awesome time. Even if you want to fly a line of sight, it's all just still like the whole aviation hobby is, is amazing. RC, I cannot believe it took me so long. I'm getting distracted here, but I cannot believe how long it took me to discover these amazing little flying machines. So I suspect the new 04 light air unit will fill the market for smaller and lighter. Unfortunately, no good leaks yet on on it yet, except that it is definitely coming. Yeah. So I've heard some people saying like the start of next month, which is, what are we in? Well, maybe it's like two months away. Anyway, early, early next month, but it's pretty interesting. These pictures are out there. So people definitely have them. I think it's great. I don't think I'll be able to test the O4 air unit because I don't have a set of goggles. I don't even have the latest generation goggles or the goggles two or anything like that. I have like not the, I have the first generation DJI goggles. I have the like 1.5 version that came after that. So I am able to bind up to my O3 air unit, but since then I don't have any of the others. Maybe we could do a GoFundMe or whatever. We could set like a stream goal or something. If that is something you are interested in, um, we could review that. But I think a better one for me, I would like to do a bit more work with HD Zero as well. I think that's another big, big part of our hobby.